Welcome to GCSE Pod. This short video will give you all the information you need to extract the maximum value from GCSE Pod for you and your students. We provide focused subject knowledge accessible on any device for 20 GCSE and IGCSE subjects. The subject knowledge is delivered via three to four minute videos called pods, which contain everything required for a full understanding of a specific topic. To find a pod on a particular topic, just click Browse Content and choose your subject. Finding and watching pods is just as easy on a smartphone or tablet, as well as a laptop. Here's a list of the available topics for this subject. These topics can be pre-filtered by your school, so that you and your students only see relevant materials for the specific curriculum and topics you are teaching. This makes GCSE Pod a very safe place for students to browse, and a very effective place for teachers to quickly find necessary resources. Click on a topic to see a list of subtopics, or as we call them, titles. Let's choose one and watch an example of a pod. This chapter will focus on the character of Benedict. Benedict is one of the four main characters in the play. He is a lord, so he's a man of rank and status. I'll just mute this for now, but leave it running so you can see a few more of the images. The pods are written and quality assured by expert teachers, with narration by professional voiceover artists and images created in-house to help the learning stick. The pods are designed to combine engagement with effective learning. Images and photography are used to explain and highlight, but careful consideration goes into not distracting students from the core aim, to build and strengthen their subject knowledge. Keywords are highlighted based on the exam specifications, and animation is included when needed to explain the movement of an object or to demonstrate a process. This focus on subject knowledge makes the pods perfect for introducing a new topic to a class, consolidating learning at the end of a lesson, or quickly revising a topic before moving on. The pods are also ideal when set as a flipped learning task, as students can come to your lesson primed with core subject knowledge. This significantly increases the speed at which you can start practising exam-style questions, and therefore can accelerate progress. Just like on YouTube, you can favourite videos you need, that's the star button, but you can also download them using this arrow button. This is great if the internet is not strong and you want to access files offline. You can also add some extra resources for your students. These will be highlighted as extras, as shown here. You might want to direct students to a useful web page or link to a past paper. Extras can be added by visiting the teacher area, which is highlighted in the top menu bar. To go back to the home page, click Dashboard. We've looked at the pods, but there are some other fantastic tools on the site to help you. Here on the right, you can create playlists. Any pods you favourite will automatically be added to your favourites playlist, which you can see here. You can also create your own playlists and then share them with students. It's just the same as creating a music playlist, but instead, you might want to pick out pods on topics that a specific class is struggling with and share them via a unique playlist link. You can post this link anywhere your school website, Twitter, email, and students can access your playlist with ease. Back on the dashboard, you'll see on the left there are some more playlists, but these are ready-made. These playlists contain all the pods that are relevant to a precise specification. As shown here, you can even see the exam date, if confirmed, and specification name. We'll head back to the dashboard now. We've covered the basics, but before we finish, I'll highlight a couple of final areas for you to explore. In the centre, we have Assignments. Here, you can generate self-marking homework, assessment and revision tasks from a community question bank of over 20,000 questions. Let's look at this one, which I set a few days ago. A detailed report on the group allows me to identify students that may require extra help. If I click on this student's answers, I can see their results in detail, and leave feedback, even on multiple choice questions. Each question is linked to relevant pods, so, as is the case with this one, if a student completes a question wrong, a boost playlist containing relevant pods will be automatically generated to help that student close their knowledge gaps. These boost playlists are personalised for each student 
and a very effective way to focus their time on their weakest areas. If we want to see exactly what the student has been watching, we just click Teacher Area in the top menu and type in their name. Click the bar chart to the right and we can see everything they've been watching and when. Let's compare their usage to their classmates. Simply choose Class Groups and you'll see all the groups this student is a member of. Find the class group you're interested in. Here is the full group report. We can filter this by subject to focus just on our subject area. Other filters allow us to focus on a specific time period or gender. Now we can see all student usage for this subject, including the total number of pods each student has watched and downloaded. To view more detailed information for any student, just click the little bar chart to the right of their name. Now you've got everything you need to get started using GCSE Pod. However, more tutorials are available via the question mark icon next to the Log Out button.